Would you like to hear something funny? I keep seeing this everywhere. Typically, the mouth breathers and the hissing cockroaches on photography forums, which collectively most of them don't have more than 10 brain cells. Oh my god, I'll, I'll edit out that later, even though it's truthful. One thing that they say about lenses is that they're always talking about the coatings. <laughs> it's so funny. Now here's a lens element. It's not that thick of a lens element. This is from a 50 millimeter Nikkor. Now, the coating on this one, for example, is just a traditional multi-coat AR coating, anti-reflective coating. Now, that is a crystalline vacuum deposited coating that's placed on the lens that uh, helps reduce, A, reflectance, obviously off the primary and the rear element, front element and rear element. But what it really helps in is inner element light bounce. And that lets you create really compounded complex lenses with 7, 8, 12, 15, 24 elements cuts down on inner element light bounce so uh, which creates a flare creates other issues creates uh, washed out photographs one thing that they don't understand and then they'll talk about nano crystal especially there's a lot of uh, YouTube photography channels too by uh, some made by mouth breathers which is what they are and they just don't know any better they're always talking about, oh, it's got a special nano crystal coating on it, oi, oi. <laughs> Here's a little tip for you. <clears throat> that little coating is insanely thin. Now, the glass, however, by comparison, is insanely thick. We are basically talking about people that are praising um, the copper sheeting on a, a gigantic mansion. And they're, they're talking about... Oh, you know, oh, it's got a super... <laughs> Whereas the mansion itself comprises 99.999% of the weight and uh, <laughs> nearly 100% of the volume. And that's actually what the light is really passing through. What they never talk about, any of these dumb people on these photography forum, people that evaluate, it's, they're always talking about coatings. Oh, it's got a nano crystallite. So damn what? You know what's even more important? The magic recipe used to create that glass. Okay, now I've shown you radioactive. Next week, and maybe this week, um, we're going to go over uh, magical radioactive lenses, one of which is a Pentax lens. Um, the other things that they stick in the glass, which do you think is more important? A super, super ultra micron thin coating or a huge piece of this one is not a huge element but compared to the coating it is absolutely titanic We're talking about like a sheet of paper compared to the empire state building by comparison and someone is praising not the like steel girder construction or the type of brick used or cement to make the building no they're talking about that outer sheeting coat you really think that's you think that's what makes the lens do you really it's got a nano crystalline coating. You know what's even more interesting is that lens is either leaded glass or it has niobium oxide. However, lens companies don't list that stuff because that's their secret recipe. See, the stuff that I know about is actually important. It actually makes up the majority, and by majority, I mean 98% of the characteristics of the lens. It's not that magic coating on the outer element or on the back side of the rear element that is microns thin and absolutely less than one one thousandth of one percent of the uh, thickness of any lens even at the smallest lens like this this isn't a thick lens it's a pretty small lens hmm these people they stupidly talk about coatings as something more important then the coating is sitting on something a thousand times thicker sometimes much more than a thousand times thicker hmm it's a damn glass and what they add to that glass there's a million million different ways to make glass and that is the secret recipe of Nikon, Fuji, Canon, Voigtlander, Zeiss that is the secret that that is not found on any specification sheet anywhere yet these people are talking about a microns thin coating it's multi-coated it's super super quantum coated <laughs> a bunch of morons <laughs> a bunch of knuckle dragging mm. what did i say before i said these some of these people are so smart that uh, 
their birth certificate is literally an apology from the condom factory. <laughs> they really think that a micron thin coating is more important than something that's thousands and thousands of times thicker. The actual glass itself and what's in that glass that actually helps or does not help in the dispersion of the uh, near frequency uh, or the far frequency of blue and red light because both of those have totally different uh, values and how they pass and react to the capacitance and the uh, the resistance magnetic uh, permeability and dielectric permittivity of light through those different frequencies because energy equals Planck's constants time Planck's constants uh, times new Planck's constant excuse me times new or the frequency or you can just simply say uh, E equals HF uh, energy equals Planck's constant uh, times the frequency of light that means that blue light has a lot more power to it and it radically reacts different as it passes through one element and another and every and single element so that's what's important folks not that coding the, the coding is important the coating is not even one one thousandth as important as what is inside that molten glass when they actually, you know, rolled out a new batch of uh, molten glass for the creation of new lenses. That's what's important. And the freaky stuff that they stick in there, the rare earth elements, niobium oxide, lanthanum oxide. So I thought that would be a little secret of lenses that uh, people keep harping about online. And it's absolutely absurd to talk about something so minuscule uh, as having such incredible importance relative to the makeup of the glass itself. Yeah, it's the glass. It's far, 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 far more, far, far more important the makeup of the glass than that damn coating is, okay? People don't understand that, apparently, because they're always going on about quantum coating, nanocrystal, extra special coating, super multi-coating. Yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, you, you tell yourself that, right? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.